गाइस वेलकम टू येट नेदर इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो ऑन फार्मिंग वेर एन वी ट्राई टू रीच आउट टू मोर एंड मोर फार्मर्स एंड फार्म फैमिलीज एंड स्ट्राइव टू इम्प्रूव देयर लाइफ इन वेरियस एस्पेक्ट्स एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड इन डिटेल अबाउट इरीगेशन सो दिस वीडियो इज फॉर ऑल दोज फार्मर्स लुकिंग टू इम्प्रूव देयर एग्रीकल्चरल ईल्ड एंड इनपुट्स नो वॉट एव एज वी ऑल नो इज द ड्राइविंग फोर्स ऑफ ऑल नेचर्स we can definitely live without love but not without water and irrigation is one of the most crucial aspect of agriculture today although most of us have moved out from our hometowns looking for a better job looking for better lifestyle looking for more money etc but majority of the indian population still reside in rural areas the major source of livelihood and major source of their income in the rural india is by engaging in farming activities agriculture alone provides the employment to almost 42% of the population and its overall contribution towards the indian gdp is not more than 20% so why despite so many people directly or indirectly involved in agricultural activities not being able to generate enough money and enough revenue for the country well we all know that our farmers face a lot of challenges in the form of natural calamities disaster pest attacks that result in the loss of crop this obviously is not in control of the farmers but do you know what agriculture is often greatly hampered due to irregular insufficient and uncertain rain now if we talk about the olden times the traditional farmers across the globe used to depend on the natural source of water which included the rain water it included the lake water the river water etc but we have realized that depending on natural source of water alone will not help it is not going to help the farmers anymore let me tell you that insufficient uncertain and irregular rain causes uncertainty in agriculture and agriculture produce in the yield that we get period of rain is restricted to only 4 months in a year which is from june to september where the monsoon begins but the remaining 8 months are dry there are only some rainfall during the months of december and january that is in only some parts of the country Now even during the monsoon the rainfall is scanty and undependable in many parts of the country. Sometimes the monsoon is getting delayed it gets delayed due to various reasons considerably while sometimes they cease prematurely. This pushes the large area of the country into drought condition. But today with the help of irrigation system that we have droughts and famines problems such as droughts and famines can be effectively controlled so eventually like how we collectively have developed as a society we have understood that we need different source of water and we cannot solely depend on the natural source of water which was the rainfall and this is when the concept the entire concept of irrigation was introduced and do you know what irrigation is as old as 6 millennium bc today thanks to the new technologies and techniques in the field of agriculture that we also have access to different other source of water we have tube wells we have drip irrigation system we have splinter irrigations etc so with right kind of right irrigation system in place farmers can get immense benefits and with right amount of yield that they get they can also earn well so now with that said let's understand in detail from one of the experts in the field all about the irrigation the importance of irrigation in the agriculture the importance it holds for the farmers and what are the different kinds of different types of irrigation that can best suit you so irrigation means application of water uh, to the field and the crop lands to supplement the moisture contributed by the rainfall so we need irrigation when the water is available in plenty or when the water is not available in plenty so we need uh, irrigation if we apply more water if we not manage the water properly the soil health becomes deteriorated in other area like kolar when the water is not available area is more so to grow the crops in the large area we need to go for water management that is irrigation so irrigation is required when the water is available in plenty or in deep seed in all the situations water management is required so the oldest methods of irrigation so what they will do whenever the rain comes they will just uh, drive out the streams into fields so that is like a flood irrigation in case of uh, irrigation system since water is available we can replace the low value crops by high value crops like commercial crops vegetables we can grow high yielding uh, varieties and hybrids and we can use the new uh, fertilizers in a balanced manner we can take up uh, the all the intercultural operations within time we can control the weeds we can maintain the nutrient levels 
so that the farmers can get higher income, higher profit. In addition to that, there is a continuous employment generation when the water is available. When it comes to methods of irrigation, there are uh, so many methods, already I told you. So surface methods of irrigation, there is a uh, world methods of irrigation. Then uh, sub-surface sub methods of irrigation. Then uh, micro-irrigation. In case of micro-irrigation, again uh, drip irrigation. Now in drip irrigation, again surface drip irrigation. Then sub-surface drip irrigation. Then sprinkler irrigation. Again two types, micro-sprinkler and rain gun uh, irrigation. Then last one is uh, part or pitcher irrigation. Ridges and firm of irrigation is more suitable for the wider spaced crops. In case of narrow spaced crops, like uh, the fodder crops, even coriander, even ragi, we can go for uh, check basin method of irrigation. Then in case of uh, perennial crops, like uh, coconut, arecanut, mango, sapota, you have to go for uh, ring basin method of irrigation. Whereas in case of subsurface irrigation, where you are applying water only into the ditches, so the water will not be available for the operation losses. So we can save a lot of water. This method of irrigation is more suitable for clay soil, not for sandy soil. Drip irrigation is, uh, is uh, using almost all the crops, even water crops also. Uh, the seasonal crops, annual crops, perennial crops, in each and every crop, drip irrigation is very common. Sprinkler irrigation is another method of uh, uh, new irrigation. It, is, uh, it simulates the rainfall how we are going to receive the rainfall from the atmosphere. So in this method of irrigation, we are going to sprinkle the water above the crop plants. So that is called as a sprinkler irrigation. So one rain gun can cover an area of almost half of the acre. So almost 20 kuntas. But it needs a lot of pressure. Whereas in case of drip irrigation, we don't want a lot of water pressure to apply the water in the drip system. This sprinkler irrigation is more suitable for sandy soils. In sandy soils, the infiltration rate is more okay, and spreading is uh, less. So it is suitable for sandy soils. And also the sprinkler irrigation is more suitable for uh, the undulated uh, lands. So the size of the farm pond will be vary for uh, soil to soil. In case of uh, clay soil, the size of the farm pond per hectare is uh, 150 cubic meter. Whereas in case of sandy soil, the size of the farm pond is big, that is uh, 250 uh, cubic meter, almost 100 cubic meter will be high more in case of sandy soils. In case of sandy soils, we need to we need to give more number of irrigations because uh, the water storage capacity will be less, water holding capacity will be less in case of sandy soils. Therefore, we need big size of farm pond compared to clay soils. In clay soils, we need less water because we are giving uh, uh, less number of irrigations. So we are giving almost one irrigation once in 15 days because more water volume capacity in uh, clay soils. Irrigation should be optimum because even over irrigation can spoil the crop that you produce. Now there is a saying which goes like excess of anything is just harmful. So irrigation should also be optimum because even over irrigation can spoil the crop production. Excess water leads to water logging, it hinders the germination, also increases the salt concentration and uprooting because the roots can't withstand the standing water. Thus, proper method is to be done and is to be used for best cultivation. Now for your A to Z details on irrigation space alone, if you're a farmer who wants to learn in detail about different kinds of irrigation that you can use and will best suit you, then watch this entire course and learn from this expert which is available only on our Freedom app that you can easily download from Play Store or App Store. Now this course will teach the farmers and will be exposed to different kinds of development that has taken place in the space of the irrigation alone. You can also understand from the farmers what are the different modern techniques and technologies that the current farmers are using and that you too can apply for your land and get good amount of ears and thereby earn huge profit. So hurry up and download Freedom app and get access to not just learning about the irrigation alone but also you can understand in detail about other such farming that is smart farming you will learn about hydroponics. If you are interested in other such smart farmings or any other kind of farmings as well you can download Freedom app and learn in detail about farming as well as business as well as personal finance. Okay with that said this is it in the video and I'll be back soon with next interesting topic. So before going do not forget to hit on the like button, subscribe to our channel and do not forget to hit on the bell icon to get notified for our next video. Thank you for watching Freedom Get Wise Break Free.